The jury delivered a mixed verdict for the three former police officers in the fatal beating of Tyree Nichols. All of them were convicted of witness tampering related to the cover-up, but the defendants were also acquitted of violating Nichols' civil rights by causing his death. The 29-year-old black man's death sparked nationwide protests in 2023. CBS News correspondent Elise Preston joins us now from Memphis, Tennessee. Elise, just walk us through what happened in the courtroom and how the Nichols family is responding. Good morning, Anne-Marie. After hearing weeks of testimony, jurors delivered a mixed verdict in the case. They found the three officers guilty of trying to cover up what happened the night the 29-year-old Tyree Nichols was beaten, but not guilty on several other charges, including violating his civil rights. Now, those three officers were immediately taken into custody, and they await a detention hearing on Monday to figure out what will happen between now and the sentencing, which is January 22nd. Right after uh, this verdict was read, it, which took the jury only about six hours to deliver, right after that verdict was read, family and friends gathered right out front in the courthouse, uh, and they chanted justice for Tyree. Now, despite the mixed verdict, his family says that they are happy with the outcome, that all five of the officers uh, face some, count, uh, some form of accountability. Keep in mind, these three officers uh, were convicted on some charges yesterday. Two other officers, former officers already pleaded guilty and they actually testified uh, in these court proceedings. They testified to a history of uh, secrecy and loyalty within the group that they were a part of that is now disbanded, that Scorpion Crime Unit. And Marie, it's been nearly 20 months since Tyree Nichols was killed, since he was seen on video being beaten and, and kicked and punched repeatedly. Uh, and so this is a milestone in this case, but it is far from over. The officers still face state charges. Those uh, That trial has not been set yet. They're waiting on sentencing in this federal trial to wrap before the state trial begins. And then there's also a, a civil case between the family, the city of uh, Memphis, Memphis Police Department, and the Department of Justice still has an ongoing pattern or practices investigation into the department. So it has been a long road so far, but it is far from over. Anne-Marie? All right, at least Preston, thank you.